to this one isn't included. So I got to have the interest expense. I'm going to add that here. I'm going to select these four rows. I'm going to right click or four cells and insert. Shifting down, shifting down. And then we'll just add that account into our liabilities. Into the liabilities, the interest payable, which you might call the crude interest. I'm going to say negative instead of equal to flip the sign. Picking up then that 73. There we have it. So then we're on the loan payable. And I've got those two. So that's being picked up here. This is another area where you might, you might want on presentation purposes not to have two loans, the actual loans, possibly including like the loan number at the end of it for external presentation purposes. You might be able to clean that up in accounting software by having a parent account, sub accounts that can collapse for external presentation purposes. We'll talk more, but we'll adjust that in a future presentation when we do the second financials as we condense them. The payroll liabilities, the sales tax, and the, the unearned revenue. So there is that stuff. And then we don't have yet the second long-term loan, which I'm going to put down here. So all the current liabilities are up top. Long-term liabilities due after a year's worth of time. I'm going to say negative, picking up that long-term liability and being nice and easy to do so, given the fact that we broke it out in a separate account instead of us having to break those two things out as we construct the financial statement. As So that's the one way you might do that. Say, oh, I'm just going to keep it in one account and then break out when I make the financial statements. So this, So we got that. And then... That gives us our current and long-term liabilities are here. We add those two up to give us the total liabilities. I could double check the total liabilities by simply summing up, just selecting those accounts. That adds up to the 83.64, tying out to the 83.64 here. Now next, I'm, I'm just gonna take the full equity from our trial balance, which is really easy to do if you have the trial balance set up this way. And then I'll, then I'll back into that by doing the income statement and the statement of equity. So in other words, this equity account, instead of taking it from the statement of equity, I'm just going to say negative sum of all of the equity accounts from here on down. And look how easy that is to do. Simple formula to pick that up because the debits are positive and the credits are negative. And you just use this negative sum formula and you pick up that plug, which is the 